and designs. So this is actually our final project that we created for the course and it's called Drops in Time. And what this project looks at is using natural cues and exploration of materials, we create a piece that tracks the passage of time. One of the really cool advantages you'll see it offers is the different range of facilities, so for example, the solid space. So one of the things we learned from the class is how do we go from our ideas to doing research to paper and then how can we make it into a real-life, solid, tangible prototype. Uh, just having the ability to go to a place where you have all these tools and all these resources has been useful. <laughs> Well, the laser cutter has been invaluable. Being able to make a file and print off the parts you need saves a lot of time prototyping, definitely. Solid Space is an invaluable resource here at Simon Fraser University. It allows students to use traditional techniques, it allows them to use machine tools, but most importantly, it allows them to use rapid prototyping technologies, and by this I mean additive manufacturing such as a 3D printer. So the level of prototyping with these tools is very, very high. Something that would rival something that is mass produced. Come in, have a look around, get the feel for the space, learn how the machines work. <laughs> If you are interested in CN and you like working with materials and kind of doing a lot of prototypes, one of the things I'm advising you is don't be scared, get creative. Ask questions and use forbidden facilities that are on campus because CN provided them for you and it's up to you to have fun and explore and come up with crazy things. <laughs>